Delaware State, the home team, and all red with the white numbers. And the Rattlers will take the opening kickoff and coach before you get settled in your seat good and take a swig of that coat. <laughs> Pat Harrington goes all the way. Yes, Harrington does a real fine job. He picks up some real good blocking by our kickoff return team. Now he's just accelerating, turning on his speed, and just looking good, getting six points. Of course, we commented in the broadcast booth when once he got back there, the only person left was John Jensen, the catcher, who was the kicker <laughs> for Delaware State. We knew he was going all the way. <laughs> That's exactly right. Harrison has excellent speed. He's a 4-2-4-3 football player. Tim Cameron, this is before a, a, a tough injury to Tim. He gets the extra point. And here we go on the ensuing kickoff. Tim Cameron, coach, is going to get hurt on this play, but he makes a, a touchdown saving tackle. Yes, uh, Tim did a real fine job. Tim's a football player. He was a real fine defensive back in high school. And if we uh, wanted to play him defensively, we could do that. He's a, a real good football player. <laughs> Tim gets the tackle there, and he's going to take him out of the game, the rest of the ball game. But this is Dennis Jones, who's a quarterback for Delaware State. Look at Earl Holmes. He had a big night, coach. 14 tackles on the end. <laughs> yes, Earl scores uh, very aggressive, very tenacious in there, pursues relentlessly, and just a great football player. Good defense here on the fourth down, a field goal situation. They fake it, Rattlers play good defense and stop the drive. They go to the Hornets again. This is that wing tee, a lot of misdirection action. Ball pops out, and there he is again, Earl Holmes. That's right, right on the spot. You have to be in the right place at the right time, and uh, Earl has that knack of being in that right spot. Ray Domingo pass is picked off here, and uh, this is going to give Delaware State some excellent field position at uh, midfield. Uh, not one of Ray's uh, particularly hot days, Coach, but uh, not a real bad day for Ray. He had played pr pretty steady. Yes, he played uh, a fine game. He didn't throw any touchdown passes, but uh, his percentage was uh, 500 or better, and uh, he did some real good checking off, and it was a great uh, field general there over the weekend. Number seven for Delaware State is Phil Anderson. Coach, he's a great football player. Here again, you see the Rattlers. They stop the Hornet drive, and on the field goal attempt, get a bad snap, and Keno Taylor comes in with a big play. Offensively, here we go. Ray's going to set up, throw the play action pass, and what a great catch this is by Robert Wilson. No, it's Jay Young who tight ropes and keeps that foot in bounds. Yes, uh, Jay does a, a real good job in a supporting role. Uh, he would be starting for most football teams because uh, he's a, a great receiver with real soft hands. It's Tony Bland with a big reception on the connection from Ray Domingo. Second quarter action now. Here we go. Little misdirection, and this is Rod Williams. Coach, this is a fumble in every book except in Philadelphia last <laughs> Saturday night. Yes, it looked like a fumble to us, and but we were unfortunate that the officials didn't see it that way, but it did look like it was an obvious fumble. Okay. And so that's part of that crowd. Rod Williams took it in for the touch. That would have been his second fumble recovery for a touchdown this season, but it didn't go. This Lewis saw Williams putting the wraps on Phil Anderson, and Dennis Jones goes back to the air. This is Anderson again, and Jamil Jenkins bumps him out. Of the Hornets now got a good little drive going, and here again, it's a little misdirection, and Phil Anderson. Yes, they had Big Mo, and usually when a team gets Big Mo, meaning uh, momentum, uh, it's very difficult to stop, and irrespective as to what you're trying to do, you just can't stop Big Mo. Good coverage right there on the pass play. Actually, it was the hit that jarred the ball loose. Keno Taylor and uh, the Hornets get a field goal here. That makes it 7-3 to three here in the first half. Ray Domingo now under center. And uh, Ray's going to hand off to Shamil Central Coach. Shamil had a fine day running the football, 117 yards on 23 catches. Yes, uh, for the last several weeks, he's going over 100 yards rushing and He's uh, running with uh, reckless abandon, and I'm very happy about that. How about that? Uh, Robert Wilson continues to have a, a great uh, performance every week with that tightrope uh, reception. And with this one in and out of his hands, and actually uh, he tips it into the arms of the defender for Delaware State and gives them the ball back. Yes, he had it just momentarily. Uh, just couldn't hold on to it and tipped it, and it, of course, resulted in an interception. Now, this one is ruled a fumble, and we get uh, the fumble recovery. And this is Gerald Jackson. And Gerald, Gerald yes, had a fine. a fine job. He's a hard runner, and boy, I tell you, he uh, he's a pleasant surprise, and we're happy about his performance. All right, two tight ends, and Gerald Jackson again is the formation. And Gerald takes it down close, and actually, I think, fumbles there, and Delaware State recovers and goes back on offense. Yes, we uh, were unfortunate there. Uh, I think if we would have scored, they on the two-yard line, maybe the game would have been over at that point. Yeah. 
And here we go, Vince Jones. Tosses one up there. Bill Anderson makes a, a nice reception and gives them some working room as we go late here in the half. And on the reverse, what a Rattlers read it all the way, not fooled at all by them. Not fooled at all. We smelled it and uh, made a real good solid hit on it. I mean, we popped him good. Yeah. Good defensive effort there uh, in this first half. Rattler defensive team playing well all season long. And uh, offensively had a couple other opportunities there and mistakes hurt us a little bit. But we're still in control of this ball game. Yes, no question about it. Uh, we thought we had some opportunities to really slam the door shut at halftime, but uh, we didn't. We thought we were uh, in the game uh, real good all game long, but uh, we didn't take advantage of three opportunities. Had we scored on three opportunities, the game would have been over at halftime. Yeah. Tim Cameron, Coach, what's the prognosis uh, on Tim's, I think it's an ankle, hurt his ankle on that. Yes, uh, Tim has a uh, sprained ankle at this point. Uh, we're still... Uh, evaluating and making an assessment as to uh, how serious it is but uh, we think it's a sprain but I'll know uh, for certain uh, later on this evening. All right we're going to come back and take a look at second half highlights FAMU and Delaware State in Philadelphia Pennsylvania after this time out on the Coach Billy Joe Show. All right welcome back to the Coach Billy Joe Show FAMU Delaware State Coach the Rattlers leading at halftime uh, how are you feeling about it at this point in the ball game? Well, at halftime, uh, I didn't feel that good about the game because we weren't playing Rattler football. And I had to tell our football players, in no uncertain terms, really in the most provocative terms, <laughs> that we had to play better football or we were going to die here in Philadelphia. But uh, players played a little bit better in the second half. Not much better, but a little bit better. And we were able to get the victory. Well, it's family show. Glad you're keeping it real provocative. <laughs> we're going to go to second half highlights. Rattlers and Hornets in the vet and uh, Delaware State. Uh, goes to work. Uh, Dennis Jones uh, throw back here on the screen. Time. This is Rod Williams. Coach, he, this guy's having a fantastic season. He Not does. only does he block the pass, he intercepts the pass. Yes, Rod is playing excellent football. He's a quality individual, great football player. Just continue doing what you're doing, Rod. And out of uh, Madison, Florida. Okay, here's Ray Domingo. Buying a little time. Good protection here for Ray. And watch the Wilson. What a great catch there, yeah, Coach. Sure. That was a lot of... Uh, uh, dedication and uh, a lot of hard work uh, resulted in that good catch because he's worked like that all year long trying to make good catches. All right, here's Shamil again on a fine run. Turns the corner, turns on those jets, and scoots on around that end. Oh, yes, he was aggressive on that run, and that's what we want him to do. All right, that's a replica of the Liberty Bell. And how about Ray Domingo? Folks said that Ray Domingo couldn't move that football, but he did right there. <laughs> yes, Ray did a real fine job. We just wanted the first down. I didn't want to even try to run and, and score. <laughs> just <laughs> want the first down, Ray. All right, here we go. This is uh, Gerald Jackson again on a fine run. And, uh, Coach, I'm not sure if no, Gerald said right there he's in there again in the eye formation. But Gerald uh, kind of banged himself up here. Oh, boy, nice touchdown run there. Yes, Gerald's really running hard. Uh, Jackson's a, a real true fullback, big, strong, tough, physical, and uh, he's just going to get better. A lot of Rattlers made their way to Philadelphia to see the FAMU team play in the Northeast. Big alumni uh, area for the Northeast region. And here's a nice connection from Ray to Tony Bland, and the Rattlers are on the move again. All right, Jamil sent it. Boy, look at that slashing runner, breaks away uh, from a couple of tackles and takes it all the way down to about the 31-yard line of Delaware State. Yes, he's hitting those holes nicely, just uh, right on time, getting some good gaping holes up front. The line's blocking real well, and we just have to continue doing what we're doing. Yeah. There's Gerald Jackson again. Gerald describes himself, Coach, as a power runner who has uh, tailback agility. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's a real fine football player, and I'm glad he's on our side because he's making it happen. He's a big contributor. All right, fourth quarter, we go wing left, eye formation. This is a power lineup. And look at Shamil. Shamil uh, may audition for some circus acts <laughs> this summer. He, he goes up and over for the touchdown. Yes, he did. That was a great leap. Uh, showed his vertical jump and uh, got the touchdown for it. All right, Rattlers now with a 16-point lead, but it is not over yet. This was one heck of a tackle here, Coach, by Earl Holmes. That's a solid tackle. Yes, it is. Uh, it's a hard hit. It's what we call a smack. Brian Thomas, young man out of Alabama, Coach. He can play some football. Had that one in Almost had that interception. Yes, he did. Just inches. They say it's a game of inches and uh, just inches. There's Ben Gaynor. Gets his hands up on him and knocks that one down. He's going to have a big play coming up here a little later on in the half. Uh, uh, Jones uh, shoots this pass out there and uh, 
connects with his, that's Kino Taylor and Antonio Barrio on the stop for the Raptors. Yeah, we ain't well covered, but uh, sometimes they'll get one in there. Yeah. Joe Harris here uh, on the, the halfback of misdirection play. This is Phil Anderson. He's going to race to his end zone. Now, Coach, he gets in there, but that's a fine effort by Jamil Jenkins. He wanted to challenge him and make sure that he didn't go in uncontested. Right, that's right. You have to give 110%. We want effort, and that's what we got. Well, Anderson scores a touchdown. They come right back and get the two-point conversion. It's 19-11, Coach, and boy, you can't breathe too easy <laughs> just yet. <laughs> no, we can't. The game is not over, and uh, it's not over until the fat lady sings, and she hasn't even cleared the throat yet, so <laughs> we have to keep playing football. Yeah, Earl Holmes broke on that pass, but it was... Uh, thrown just above him, and uh, they, they make the reception. Got a good drive going here. That's uh, Curtis Thomas. He takes a big hit, but uh, Delaware State's moving. Fabian Thorne, a talented fullback for Delaware State. Coach, we pretty much wrapped him up all night long. Yes, we, we slammed the door shut on their running game, but he made a, a couple big runs. He's a little short, squatty, strong fullback who can get those tough yards. Yeah, that's a, another great defensive play there. Kino coming up to break that pass up, and Jones firing across the middle. Primus Burley came from nowhere, Coach. He <laughs> broke. I mean, that's a big yes. time play. Yes, it was. He left his feet and uh, didn't care anything about his body to make that play. All right. Delaware State goes for the field goal, and this one sails short, short, short. Nowhere yeah. close. Oh, hey, I'm happy. <laughs> yeah, good buzz. <laughs> a break for the Rattlers. Yes, sir. And the Hornets come right back. And here they go. This was a nice catch. Now, there's some question about whether he had possession of this ball while he was inbounds, but they give him the reception. Yes, it looked like he was bobbling it as he uh, caught it and ran out of bounds. But they didn't uh, give us the call. Yeah, no no luck, as you said, Coach. He shut that running game down. And uh, once again, you see the Raptors coming up, put some uh, pads on that football. Jones tosses this one into the end zone. We get a lucky break here because the receiver had it in and out of his hands, and he just didn't hold on. And on this play, it falls incomplete. Keno Taylor gets a hand on that one. And so, again, Delaware State did not get in. Now, here we go. This is a big play, big play of the night right here, Coach. Uh, Jones gets hit, and I mean pummeled yes. by Rod Williams. And Ben Gaynor might be trying out for fullback. <laughs> You're not kidding. <laughs> he did a real fine job of running those circuit training uh, exercise that we give our players uh, every day in practice. Uh, really came through for us because he uh, did not uh, tire. He continued on and uh, was not far from behind. Well, Coach, uh, he had a full tank, but when he got to the end zone, he was on empty. I uh, afraid <laughs> so. <laughs> but it still counts for, for six for the Rattlers. The Hornets come right back on a 60-yard pass play to Phil Anderson. And, boy, again, Coach, just when you thought you could breathe a sigh of relief, here they come again. Yes, they just wouldn't die. They wouldn't die. They're a fine football team, and they were not going to give up. Yeah. On the onside kick. Didn't seem like that thing went 10 yards, but they got the possession on it. Rattlers defense hold, and here we go. Uh, late in the ball game now, and uh, Ray is doing the flop one, and that's the way it ends. As the Rattlers come out on top of a big win over Delaware State. Final stats here. Total offense for the Hornets roll up 453 to our 281. But again, uh, not a whole lot of penalties in this ball game uh, either, Coach. I know you're... We're liking that because uh, we're cutting down on those kinds of mistakes. And so yes. uh, we continue to get better and better every game. This was a big win. Yes, it was a big victory. And we're getting better and better in a lot of areas. Uh, but we still have to continue to improve. I'm uh, very happy with our progress, but I'm not satisfied. Because I know we can play much better, much better. We can play championship caliber football. And we're going to uh, pursue that. All right, still a lot of Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference of football still to be played too. Our offensive player of the game, Shamil Simpkins. What a night Shamil had. 23 carries, 117 yards, one touchdown, and what a, uh, an acrobatic catch he made right here. A fantastic night for Shamil. Yeah, Shamil's having a real fine year. He's a senior, and it's fitting that uh, he goes out in style, and he is having a fine season thus far. Well, Earl Holmes had a big night defensively, but how can you discount this play? Ben Gaynor goes 85 yards on a, we call it a fumble, Coach, but uh, they ruled it as an interception. We just call it six points. We'll exactly. take it, whatever you want to call it. Exactly. That's exactly right. Uh, he did a real fine job, and uh, Ben's been doing a fine job all year long. He's an unsung hero and uh, quiet, but uh, very effective, and we're happy that he's on our side. Keith. And as you said, a pleasant surprise. Yes, he, he stepped is. up his play this season. Yes, he's a pleasant surprise. He's a big contributor. And he hasn't played a lot of football here, but he's playing a lot of football for us now and will continue to play a lot of football. 
All right, we're in the hunt now. Two and one, the Rattlers go in the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. We'll come back, take a look at the conference scoreboard and the standings and those South Carolina State Bulldogs after this timeout on the Coach Billy Jim Show. Welcome back to the Coach Billy Joe Show. Up next for the Rattlers in Orlando, the Florida Citrus Bowl. 8 p.m. kickoff. For all you folks coming down on Saturday, the Rattlers will take on those Bulldogs of South Carolina State, Coach. Yes, uh, the Bulldogs had some difficulty uh, beating Cy McLaren, and, uh, but they won. They did get the victory. That's what's most important at this point. Willie Jeffries, uh, head coach, longtime head coach, a lot of experience, loves to run that option. Loves those blitzing defenses. <laughs> yes, he believes in a pressure defense, and we will have to be prepared for his dogging, blitzing, stunning, and dealing, and uh, we will be ready. Well, Coach Joe, I know we're expecting a big crowd of Rattlers in the Citrus Bowl to help fam you do what needs to be done. Yes, without question, we need our fans, alumni, or boosters to be in attendance for that game, because that is a humongous game. That's a big game. And if we're to win this MEAC, we're going to have to get past South Carolina State, and that would not be an easy task. So we want everybody who loves Rattler football to be in attendance. All right. The Howard Bison, they're continuing to the roll. They defeat Larry Little's North Carolina Central Eagles 35-19, to Coach. Yes, uh, Coach Wilson uh, has his team on track now, and we're hopeful that they'll stay on track so they can knock off A&T. <laughs> and if we can continue winning, maybe we can go ahead and get this MEAC title. All right. Uh, let's take a look at some other scoreboard speaking of those Aggies of North Carolina NT boy they had to come back from behind again against the Golden Bears of Morgan State 26 to 16 coach they had to come back in the fourth <laughs> quarter to beat Morgan State yes they did for the third uh, straight consecutive week and they had to come from behind to get their victory so uh, maybe uh, it's running out on them a little bit now but uh, they're a real fine football team and uh, coach Hayes does a good job in getting them prepared but I'm hopeful that someone will knock them off. Yeah. And, of course, we mentioned South Carolina State defeating Bethune-Cookman. Here this conference standings right now. We're in the hunt. A&T and South Carolina State are both 2-0 in conference play. But, boy, it's a big clash in Orlando this weekend. And, boy, it's another must-win situation for the FAMU Rattlers. Yes, without question, Keith, it is a must-win situation. We have to get this victory if we're going to stay in the hunt. And we're capable of beating the Bulldogs, but we have to be on our best game. And uh, the ball has to bounce the right way. We'll get a little luck here and a little luck there. But uh, we're capable of beating the Bulldogs. Come on down to Orlando, Florida Citrus Bowl, 8 p.m. kickoff on Saturday night. Coach, tell them again, we need a lot of Rattlers in the house this yes, weekend. Yes, we do. Please uh, bring friends, uh, relatives, everyone who loves Rattler football. Please get there and uh, scream, yell, holler, and support the Rattlers. And we want to thank all of the Rattler fans, too who made their way out to the Tallahassee Airport on Saturday night late to welcome the Rattlers back after this big victory over Delaware State. That was a nice, classy touch by the Rattler fans. Yes, that was. We were pleasantly surprised to see that crowd out there waiting for us uh, when we pulled up in the airplane. And I'd like to thank everyone who was in attendance. And also, if you get the time, uh, come on out and uh, see me there at the golf course uh, on Tuesday. That would be <laughs> nice, too, to come on out there and say hello. All right, come on down to Orlando. Don't follow me. Follow the Rattlers. We'll see you next week on the Coach Billy Joe Show.